Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to do a little update um, on my leopard geckos bioactive um, terrarium. Um, I think it's been about two weeks or so since I made the last video um, when I set it up. And so, so far um, I did add um, an LED light for, it's a light growing, um, it's a plant growing light. Sorry, it's still early in the morning. Um, coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Um, it's a plant growing light. Um, it's just an LED light because um, I do have live plants in here. Um, the only thing I noticed is my this succulent here. Forgive me. I forget the names. I think this was like pork and beans and this one right here is um, chicken hen. I forget the technical names, but these are the two that I seem to be having issues with. This one's looking really droopy and just not looking good. And this one, all the little things are falling off, which I'm sure is from the geckos, but it's not looking too good either. So probably going to have to pull those and replace them with probably some jade. Um, I've noticed these two here, this is an elephant bush and this is jade, both are succulents. Uh, but these seem to be very hardy. So I think I'm going to either... Um, take these out and replace them with more of these or maybe some snake a snake plant or something but uh yeah so that's that and then I also added in here um this is I think a white ribbon and back here is a yellow ribbon or vice versa same thing basically um this one here wasn't doing very well either um a lot of the leaves that were dying um, I went ahead and just snipped off all the dead, the dead pieces. So I'm hoping that this one will come back because I really do like these. Um, now, as far as um, the setup, I think I may have since the last video just moved some stuff around. Um, I put some the some slate rock here um, on top of the driftwood. Um, they like to come out and bask on the um, slate rock and then sometimes they'll go in the back here on those little pebbles. I gotta redo this and I'm thinking about adding in some, um, I think it's called Xaviator clay um, or Excavator clay. I'm not sure on the pronunciation, but um, and just redo um the hide back here and kind of more and kind of like cover it more and then set the stones in these pebbles here and set those into that that way they're not moving around um as you can see this whole front part here all the soil kind of just dried up and fell off so um so yeah but um let's see what else um everything else seems to be doing rather well um, the geckos have been way more active. You can see that's Sherylanda. Look at your snack in a minute. Sorry, my toddler's begging for food again. <laughs> um, but she's been very active, and Dennis, which is my other female leopard gecko, has been much, much more active um, since the switch. Um, now with this, um, I don't have a heating mat underneath. I did away with that and we're just doing, um, the, the DHP, which is the deep heat projectile bulb, um, which is not your typical like basking bulb. Um, this actually penetrates. There's no, there's no like physical visual, um, light coming off of this. So it literally is just heat. So I highly recommend, this is an 80 watt, um, and I've been able to, um, this is, um, was it an Exoterra, um, it's a dimming thermostat, it's a 600 watt, um, this thing is amazing, um, you plug it into, um, I have it plugged into, um, the, the, um, DHP and that's to keep it from getting too hot. I've had absolutely no problems with this whatsoever. Um, the heat is staying consistent. 
I have it set to um, 94. Oops. And it stays pretty close to that. And then at night, I um, I have it to, you can set this to your daytime heat and your nighttime heat. Um, so at night, I have it set to 78. So when that when night hits, um, the heat will adjust down to 78 as if it was like an actual, um, like a day cycle. So I really, really, really highly recommend one of these if you're going to go bioactive and have a basking um, bulb. Um, what else? Um, sorry, my toddler again. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking about adding, taking out these succulents and, 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 uh, removing those every morning. Um, I'll come in and I'll just kind of lightly mist in here for the plants. And, uh, so yeah. So, um, yeah. That's just a small update. Um, and on here, it's been staying pretty consistent. You don't want your humidity to be over 75. Um, typically, it stays between 70 and 75, um, give or take. Um, that's temp-wise. And then humidity-wise, you never want this over um, about 60. So it's between 50 and 60. So that's where you want the humidity to be on the cool side of your tank. Um, I might add a few more things. I do want to get some more cleanup crew. Right now I have um, the white spring tails in here, which you really can't, you might be able to see them. Cause I just sprayed and they're all like, I'm trying to see if I can. I'm not really seeing them. Sometimes they'll come up when I, when I missed, but I have white spring tails. Um, I have the uh, isopods and I have some mealworm beetles. Um, so they've been really good at um, cleaning up in here. And um, I do want to get some more isopods in here, that's for sure. Um, I want to get, they have like these um, zebra ones they have um they're called cows they're pretty cool and they have these like um pastel orange isopods that i really really want so um and actually if i get my hands on some there's something called um blue blue death fiend beetles and they are freaking awesome but they're kind of pricey but that's like something i really want to add in here too so they'll help with the cleanup crew so but yeah, so I thought I'd just give you guys a little update on on my bioactive terrarium, and she's kind of poking her head out now. I wish I knew what she was, her uh, genetics, because she's like massive. I've had her for, I've had both of them for three years now, so I love them. They're an easy beginner pet, especially if you have older children, um, really good beginner pet. So, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. And I'd be happy to answer them for you. Bye.